everyone, welcome back to DCF Garage. Today we have the Mercedes back again. It's a W211 2003 E320 and the money light is on and it is an EVAC code. So let me show you what the code is. It says here Y58-4 activated charcoal canister shut off valve, mechanical defect or a component Y58-1 purge control valve permanently open. A few possibilities with this air for what I've searched. Uh, one is the purge valve, which is right inside uh, the engine compartment, uh, might be permanently open, but I've tested that valve. So I went through the testing procedure on the Autel and it actually pulses. So you, you hear the valve pulsating. So I don't think it's the purge valve, I did replace recently one of the sending units. It's actually the fuel pump. I don't know why it's called sending units. If you know, let me know in the comments. But once I've replaced that, the leak went away. And I've tested the tank. There's no leaks in the tank. I'm suspecting it's gonna be the activated charcoal canister shutoff valve. Um, and I've already done some digging, so I took the wheel out. So this valve is located on the passenger rear wheel behind a wheel well, um, and I bought a new valve. It is from Euro Parts, and it's slightly different from OEM, and also you need this part to replace it, which is a pigtail harness uh, part A211440334, and this is gonna be able to uh, connect the new connection, which is slightly different on this valve to the original OEM wiring harness. So enough said, let me get the wheel out. Let me pull the liner out and let's take a look at this valve. Here we have the valve. As you can see, there's an electrical connector. Let me try to get this unplugged. Had it unplugged. Now, what I have to do to get this valve out, I have to twist it like this and pull it out. And it comes out like so. So here it is. Slightly different than the non-OEM design. And I think I also have to pull out the O-ring. Here's the O-ring, don't forget to pull it out. Ideally, you should put a new O-ring, but I didn't order, so we're gonna go with the old O-ring. So the pigtail harness is gonna allow me to connect this end over here that is slightly squared off to the new non-OEM valve. And this connection is exactly what you need for the OEM connection. Now let's put the valve back in the car. Let's see if this is the culprit of our money light. Let's just make the electrical connection wherever it is. It is over here. Now let's test and see if that solves our problem. So to test it, I'm going to go back, control unit, drive, motor, aka engine. Alright, so let's read for trouble codes to see if our code is gone. No, it's not. Signal is too small. All right, so I ran a couple of tests. I tested the shutoff valve in the back and the purge valve in the front. And now when I read trouble codes, I don't have any more trouble codes. As you can see, 
no fault codes detected. I think that after you place the valve, the car needs to go through a drive cycle. So it, it tests the valve to see if it's working and then eliminates the code. When I did a forced test of the, of the shut-up valve and the purge valve, I think it, it's like the car has been through a you know, drive cycle. That's what I think. I'm not a professional. So if you know, let me know in the comments. Help us all. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put everything back together. You guys don't have to see that, but it seems that in my case, the problem was the shutoff valve because the purge valve was working. So if this was helpful, uh, give the video a like, recommend to your friends, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.